Vladimir Putin has visited Russian-occupied Mariupol in Ukraine. The city is in the Donetsk region, which was annexed by Moscow last year. The Russian president drove around several districts of the city on Saturday and then was shown restoration work at a theater and a university. Putin's trip comes after he traveled to Crimea to mark the ninth anniversary of its annexation from Ukraine. And a deal allowing the export of Ukrainian grain from the Black Sea ports has now been extended. Ukraine was seeking an extension of four months, but Russia only wanted 60 days. Let's bring in Stephanie Decker from Kyiv for more on that grain deal. This was expected, was it not, Steph? It was expected, in a way, to be renewed, and the real sticking point, and it's interesting, the United Nations being very diplomatic, if you will, in its language when it announced that it would be extended. Also, the Turkish leadership, both the UN and Turkey, uh, are the interlocutors, if you will, between Russia and Ukraine when it comes to this deal, saying that the deal had been extended, but not talking specifically about how long. The deal stipulates it should be extended by 120 days. The sticking point now from Moscow is it only wants to extend it for 60 days because it says that sanctions on things like its banking system um, and insurance uh, are actually affecting its own exports, which isn't upholding uh, the part of the deal that affects Russia. So it's clear reading between the lines that these negotiations are continuing about quite how long uh, it is set to be renewed. The issue is, particularly for the farmers here, uh, we've been talking to them, is that they need long-term stability when it comes to planning. The harvest here is around June. The new uh, farmer's year, if you will, starts in July. So if this is going to be extended for 60 days or even for 120 days, which is four months, we were being told that it simply isn't enough. The minimum, really, what is needed for stability is a year. But at the moment, that is certainly not on the table. Um, and again, it's hugely significant. Russia controls uh, the Black Sea. This is what Ukraine needs to ship its wheat, grain, sunflower oil, the biggest producer in the world, which is why it has such a global impact and which is why this deal is so important. And certainly Russia holds a lot of leverage when it comes to that. And tell us more about Vladimir Putin's uh, visit to uh, Mariupol. Well, I think you probably just showed pictures of the Russian president driving himself around the city. It's the first time he visits the city since uh, the war began. It's also three days after the deadliest anniversary. You may remember um, Russia bombing the theater in Mariupol. Mariupol endured a savage uh, assault. That theater was sheltering hundreds of civilians, um, and that was bombed on the 16th of March in one of the deadliest incidents of this war. Well, now, almost a year later, he is touring the city, talking about reconstruction. It comes off the back of also visiting Crimea on the ninth anniversary of Crimea's annexation, um, and also a defiant sign, I think, showing him traveling. Uh, the fact that now the Russian president is liable to be arrested in 123 countries when it comes to this arrest warrant issued by the International Criminal Court. Well, certainly he doesn't face that danger when it comes to the territories that Russia has annexed. Uh, so, yes, first time we've seen the Russian president touring these areas properly, talking about reconstruction. But, of course, particularly when it comes to Mariupol, that city was hugely devastated by the Russians uh, in the war last year. Thank you so much. Stephanie Decker reporting from Kyiv.